We're standing in front of the BC Legislature building today, and all the people in Victoria are wandering around with their arms like this. What is that yellow thing in the sky? Well, it's called the sun. Yes, the sun has finally come out here on Eco Run. We're about to start day two of this event, and they haven't told us yet where we stand, so I don't know whether I could still wear the green jersey or not. Not that I can find the green jersey, so it doesn't matter. My former editor is waving his hand saying, no, I'm not winning the green jersey, but that doesn't matter. Today, I'm starting off in the Hyundai Tucson fuel cell vehicle. I'm particularly interested in driving this car because we don't get it in Ontario because in Ontario, hydrogen's hard to get a hold of. I still think hydrogen is a long-term solution to our transportation needs. But time, of course, will tell. We'll be pulling out of here in a few minutes' time, and we'll let you know later on how everybody's doing. I'm with Chad Hurd, who's the manager of public relations for Hyundai Canada. Chad, we have a very special Hyundai Tucson here. Tell us a bit about this car. Yes, it's actually Canada's first uh, fuel cell vehicle. It's available for customers. Okay. Now you are leasing this car, I understand, and, and tell us the deal. What, what does somebody get if they lease a fuel cell Tucson? Well, we think it's a fantastic deal. So it's a 36-month lease, um, and for $5.99 a month, uh, the customers get a very unique vehicle with a very unique powertrain. Uh, they get all the hydrogen they need for that three-year term, uh, scheduled maintenance, uh, roadside assistance. Uh, and they also have our premium valet service. So if something, um, if they need to get the, the brakes serviced or wheels rotated, the dealer will come pick up the vehicle, drop off a hybrid, do the work, and then do the reverse when the, when the car's fixed. So you pay for parking and your speeding ticket and otherwise the vehicle is covered. Exactly. A little bit of insurance, uh, but uh, otherwise it's, it's, you're scot-free. Okay. Now, what's the range of this vehicle? Because with electric car, battery-powered electric cars, that's obviously an issue. What, how far do you expect this vehicle to go on a, on a refueling of, of hydrogen? Well, full charge, it'll take, uh, it'll has a range of about 420 kilometers, um, and it takes about three to four minutes to, to fully refuel the vehicle. So from the time you get out of your gasoline-powered vehicle and back into it, it's about the same as filling up a gasoline car. It doesn't change your lifestyle at all to drive a fuel cell. And other than that, the Tucson is pretty much the Tucson? It is. Uh, it, it's our top-of-the-line model. The only thing that, that's missing is a sunroof, um, and this is a front-wheel drive uh, vehicle. But other than that, it drives just like a petrol version. Well, I always figured, too, that if we run out of hydrogen in this world, we're pretty much done. Um, the biggest problem with hydrogen is everybody's seen the Hindenburg burn. Oh, the humanity. In fact, that whole video, there was about two seconds of hydrogen burning out of the top of that thing. And of course, there's always nobody wants to drive around on a hydrogen bomb strapped to their car. Do you feel that public relations is perhaps the biggest challenge this uh, type of vehicle faces? I think that's part of why we're doing this. It's the education campaigns. We're leasing it to regular customers who are who are going to drive this as their daily driver and recognize the, the benefits of the vehicle is just about the same as, as a petrol. Which is why we're talking to the public relations guy for Hyundai Canada and not the engineers. In second place, no longer the reigning champ. We have Jim Kenzie at 86.1. And in first place with a score of 87.04, just about one point off, is Chris Chase. Chris, thank you very much for a wonderful competition. Thank you, Jim. And here is your beautiful jersey. Lovely. Not quite the master's green jacket, but we're getting there. <laughs> Thank you. So the fourth annual AJAC Eco Run comes to an end. We have a new champion. I just wish Michelin would make that award retroactive. But the two major objectives of this uh, activity were to showcase fuel saving technology, and we certainly did that. It was also to show the general public that even normal lead foots like us can achieve remarkable fuel consumption numbers if only we paid attention to our driving style. So. There's new technology out there, you can save fuel, but even with the worst fuel-thirsty V8-powered car, you can get better fuel consumption if you just ease off on that right foot. For Motoring TV, I'm Jim Kenzie.